Art Prize ended last week. We've seen the pieces. We know who's won. But how good was the event for business here in the city? Well, we won't get a full report until next week. Early reports indicate the GR economy was pretty hot during Art Prize. At Paul Latte in downtown Grand Rapids, even the drinks themselves are a work of art. You want any lavender in it? It's really tasty. And Michi Farias, whose family owns the coffee hotspot, has been making a lot of it in the last few weeks. They're an art prize venue, have been for a few years, and the business that comes with it, well, that's a beautiful thing, too. It's been awesome for business. <laughs> Super busy. A lot of places are a little understaffed, but we're making it through. We made it through. Slowly, the sites of the festival are dissolving. Paintings are coming off walls. Statues are being broken down. But the economic impact, that'll stick around for a bit longer. Good news after a nightmare pandemic period for small businesses. We're a family business, so it's, it helps float on, float us over the slower winter period. And I'm sure that's the same case with a lot of the businesses in town. All roads point into a, a successful art prize. Craig Searer, executive director of Art Prize, really wasn't sure what to expect this year. That was the really the, the up in the air um, question mark this year was what's it all going to look like? Now that the dust has settled, Craig compared it to graduating from college all over again, things were actually better than they expected. Two years off because of the pandemic and a new voting system really didn't put much of a dent in the festival's economic impact. Businesses that we've talked to have had either A, record numbers or a like uh, 2018 revenue numbers. That's somewhere around $33 million total brought into the city during the three-week competition and around 350 new jobs added. It's not official. The actual report comes out sometime next week. But even if it's close, Craig says that's great news for everyone who stood to benefit from bars to hotels to coffee shops. It brings a lot of money to small businesses like ourselves. We got to sell some beautiful works during that time, help support local art. It's been awesome. Yeah, and a lot of those pieces that you saw there at Palate are still hanging if you want to go see them.